Before you begin, always sanitise your hands. It is recommended that your client comes without makeup on the eye area. However, we suggest that you cleanse the lashes before you begin. Once that has been done, using the protein remover pads, gently wipe over the lashes to remove any excess oil or debris that has built up. Make sure that the lashes are completely dry. Next, we need to position the eye pads underneath the eye. This is a really important step as you do not want to get any of the bottom lashes caught on the shield when lifting up the top lashes. If you have a client that has particularly tricky bottom lashes, you can always detack some micropore tape to hold the bottom lashes in place before positioning the iPad on top. Selecting the correct shield size for your client is essential for a successful lash lift. The size of the shield is determined by the length of the client's natural lashes. Before measuring the shield against the eyelid, detach some micropore tape and hold down the top lashes onto the iPad. This gives a clearer view of the lash line. At this point, whilst you have your micropore tape, you can also tape the top lid. We'll go into more detail of that in a moment. Place the shield on the eyelid before securing with the adhesive to make sure that the shield fits the eye correctly. If the shield is too long, you can cut either side for a perfect fit. It is now time to secure your shield in place. Using an applicator wand, dip into the adhesive and then apply to the back of the shield. The reason for using the DTAC micropore tape on the eyelid is so that it is easy to clean up after the treatment and once again for a clear view of the lash line. We recommend applying the adhesive in small sections so that it doesn't dry out too much when lifting the lashes up onto the shield. It is best to use the lifting tool for this step. Separate the lashes as you go so that they are facing the correct direction to have an even lift. Try not to place any of the adhesive on top of the lashes as this can act as a barrier for your products to penetrate. Once the lashes are secured, this is how they will set when you apply the product. Remember to check the client's inner and outer lashes as they can be easily missed as they are so short and fine. Once you are happy that the lashes are secured correctly onto the shield, it is time to apply step one, the lifting lotion. Start the timer as you begin applying the product. Apply using an applicator wand to the middle section and down to the root area. Do not apply to the ends as this can cause damage to the natural lash causing frazzling. You may apply cling film and an eye mask over the eyes whilst you're waiting for the product to develop. However, be aware that this can speed up the developing process. Refer to the lifted guidelines for recommended processing times. Once the time is up, remove step one using a dry applicator wand and remember which eye you started on so that you remove the products from this one first. Make sure that all of step one has been removed fully before you move on to step two, the fixing lotion. Once again, refer to the lifted guidelines for timings on this step. Remove step two in the same way you remove step one by using a dry applicator wand. If your client requires a tint, it is at this stage you apply. Refer to your manufacturer's guidelines for the timings. Once it has been mixed up, apply to the lashes straight away as it has already started to develop. The tint should cover the whole of the lash and be careful not to touch the skin. To remove, use a damp cotton bud or a damp cotton pad. Be careful not to saturate the pad with water. It just needs to be very lightly damp. Don't worry if the lashes come away from the shield at this point, we will be removing these anyway. Use an applicator wand to gently remove the lashes from the shield. Once this has been done, it is now time to remove the eye pads and the tape from the eyelid. Be gentle and secure the skin with your other hand as you are removing. The last step, step three, is the enriching lotion. 
Step three can be applied using an applicator wand. Coat the full length of the lashes and leave for 12 hours. Brush through and admire the lift.